Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here. If we are given a differential equation, y prime equals or dy dx equals some function of x and y, and we're given an initial condition, then we can approximate how values of the function change using Euler's method. So this y prime equal to f of x, y is just telling us that we have some equation in the right hand side, may have some x's in it, it may have some y's in it, it may have both, but we have this expression for the first derivative which tells us about how the function is changing as we move to the right on the solution curve. Doing a numerical approximation like Euler's method, that's going to be especially useful if we can't solve the first order equation by hand using some method we know. And we say using some method we know, we're talking about identifying if the equation is separable, linear, do we solve it using a substitution where it's homogeneous or Bernoulli, or is it some exact first order equation? We can certainly use Euler's method even if it is one of these, but if we can't solve by hand, often a numerical approximation like Euler's method might be one of the only ways for us to go about analyzing the differential equation. So imagine that we have some kind of a slope field that represents our y prime equals some expression involving x and y. And let's just imagine that our slope field represents some sort of a flowing river, and our initial condition is some cork that I drop in the river at some point. So let's say I pick a point and I drop an initial condition here at this point, and I want to know how will the position of my cork change as it flows through the water in this pattern according to my slope field. Remember that the solution of the differential equation, if we solve it by hand, will give us the exact path that my cork would travel through the water. And our initial condition we're going to call some x sub zero, y sub zero, as our coordinates that we first drop the cork in the water. So if I want to approximate some position of my cork later on down the line, and I don't actually have an equation for this curve, the way I think about this is that my cork is starting at some x sub 0, and I want it to move further down the river to some other horizontal value, let's call it x sub 1. And we want to approximate what is this point where it would be in the water when it reaches x1. Euler's method basically says that we would approximate its vertical position, its y value, using the slope of the tangent line at my initial condition here, x0, y0. And so we'll get an approximation that we call x1, y1. Now you'll notice because the solution here to the differential equation is actually curving, we're going to be off by a little bit. Hopefully we're only using some small horizontal value that we're trying to approximate from here to here so that our tangent line isn't off by very much. Now we know a couple of things about the slope of this line that's going to lead us from x0, y0 to x1, y1. The first thing we could do is find the slope between these two points, which would just be y1 minus y0 over x1 minus x0, just a rise over run, change in y, change in x type of scenario. The other thing that we know about the slope of this tangent line at x0, y0 is that it should satisfy this equation, right? The slope, y prime, should be when I plug in my x and y value into this f of x, y. So the slope of this tangent line should also be represented by plugging in x0, y0 into our function there. So these slopes are the same thing. Since they're the same, we should be able to set them equal to each other. And if we simplify this expression, then we'll actually get the formula for Euler's method. I'm going to do one additional thing here to simplify my equation that I have here. I'm going to go ahead and think of x1 minus x0 as just some horizontal distance. We're going to go ahead and call that distance h. And so my equation then would look like y1 minus y0 over h is equal to our function with x0, y0 plugged in as values for x and y. If I then think about solving this equation for y1, I would go ahead and multiply the h to the other side. So we get y1 minus y0 equals h times our function at the original point. And then to solve for y1, we would simply add y0 to the other side. So we get that y1 is equal to y0 plus h times our function of x0, y0. If we want to do multiple steps along the way to approximate our solution, we won't think of this as y1 equals y0 plus h times f of the original point. We'll actually think about this in general so that our next y value, if we're doing this in multiple steps, is equal to information about our current x and y value. So this is actually our formula for approximating using Euler's method. Let's take a look at an example here of working with Euler's method. So we're given an equation y prime equals x times y, that's our formula here. We're going to approximate the y value when x is 1.3. We're given an initial condition of y of 1 equals 1, so that says when x equals 1, y is 1. And we're going to increment using h equals 0.1. So we're going to move over 0.1 at a time and approximate from our starting value of 1 
and end up at 1.3. We're going to use a table to do it. We've got our formula down here. So at our starting point, n is going to be 0. We haven't moved at all yet from the initial condition. Our initial condition says x equals 1 and y equals 1. So we'll be at the point 1, 1. So this row of our table says when we haven't done any increments at all, we have started at the point 1, 1. So think about what we're doing here. We're actually going to increment 0.1 at a time horizontally starting at 1 and ending up at 1.3. So if I increment one time and approximate once, then that will put me at x equals 1.1. If I increment again by 0.1, so if we approximate twice, that will give us an x value of 1.2. And then our third approximation would be when x equals 1.3. And we'll know that we stop there because we want to approximate y of 1.3. So now all we need to do is find the y values that go along with this using our Euler's method formula here and any information we have from the table previously. So the next thing in our chart we need to find is the y value when n is 1. So we are finding y1. And now notice this subscript is one larger than the subscript over here. This is subscript of n plus 1, so these are n over here. So if we're solving for y1, then yn is going to be y0 plus h times our function of xn yn, which would be times our function of x0 y0. So we'll take all of the information we know about x0, y0, we'll put it in the right side here from our table, and then that will help us get our y1. So that tells us y1 equals y0, which was 1, plus h, we know h is 0 0.1, so 0 0.1, times, and now f of x0, y0 says take your formula for your y prime and just plug in your x0 and y0 values, right? So our formula says take x times y and plug in the x0 and y0 values for x and y. Well, our x0 is 1 and our y0 is 1, so this is actually just 1 times 1. And now we can go ahead and simplify and get our y1, right? So here our y1 will be 1 plus 0 0.1 times what's in here. What's in here is just 1, right? So we'll have 1 plus 0 0.1, and that gives us 1.1. So Euler's method approximates the y value when x is 1.1 as about 1.1 also. Let's go ahead and approximate our next y value. So when we have y sub 2, then that's going to be y sub 1 plus h times our function with x1 and y1 plugged in. So now we're using information from the next row of our table here. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So y1 is 1.1 plus h is still 0 0.1 times our f of x1, y1. So we're actually plugging in 1.1 for x and 1.1 for y into our formula x times y. So that gives us 1.1 times 1.1, and if we do the multiplication in here, we'll get 1.21 times 0.1 would be 0.121, and if we add that to 1.1, it turns out we will get 1.221 as our approximation for y2. So Euler's method is telling us that at an x value of 1.2, we get an approximation of 1.221. Let's go ahead and do our last approximation here. y3 equals y2 plus our h times our function with x2 and y2 plugged in. So that will give us y2 is 1.221 plus 0 0.1 our h times the formula with x and y2 plugged in. So x2 was 1.2, y2 was 1.221, and if we type all this into a calculator here, then we will get 1.36752 as our approximation for that one. So we'll say 1.36752. And if it's asking for an approximation at 1.3 for an x value, that's what we have here. So our y of 1.3 is going to be this 1.36752. All right, everyone, in our next video about improved Euler's method, we'll be working out this same problem using the other method. Check that out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.